Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Array Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in Law and Data Science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Status Scratch regarding finding all the posts which were reacted to with the R, both in Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in Meta or Facebook interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find all the posts which were reacted to with a heart. For such posts, output all the columns from the Facebook posts table. Right, so basically, if you look at it, we are given two data frames, Facebook reactions and Facebook posts, and our expected output is a data frame which has basically all the columns from the Facebook post data frame. Right, so we are given two data frames, Facebook reactions, if you preview this, so you have poster, friend, reaction, date, day, post ID, etc. And then for uh, different posts, so like what is the content, right? Who posted it, what is the post ID, text, post keywords, and the date it was posted. So we need to find out that which all of these posts were reacted to by the heart and then return all the five columns for them. So if you look at it, the information for these two things are in two different tables, right? Or two different data frames. So the first thing that we should do is we should merge this information, right? So how can we do that? So we can do, okay, so pandas dot merge, then we can write the first data frame, Facebook posts is the first data frame, then we need to merge it with Facebook reactions, because we only need to keep those which were reacted with by a heart, right? And then you don't need to do left on or right on here, because if you look at it, right, so both these data frames have the same name of the column that we are merging on, right, post ID. So we can simply write on is equal to post ID and how we are joining it, how is equal to left, right? Uh, let me run this, let, let's see what we are getting. So if you look at it, you have all the information from both of these data frames. The one thing that you need to keep in mind is that since again, the poster column also has the same name across both these data frames. So it is now appended with X and Y. Right. So we need to make sure that we remember that. So what we can do is we can store this in a data frame called DF. Right. And then we can apply Boolean indexing because we only are interested in those uh, posts where reaction was a heart. Right. So what we can do is we can apply the Boolean indexing. So we can write DF and then DF of the reaction column is equal to equal to heart. Right. Uh, let me run this. Let's see what we are getting. So now if you look at it, right, so you are getting all only those rows where the reaction was a heart. Okay. For this, we need to return all the columns in the Facebook post. Right. So basically, if you look at it, the first five columns. So what we can do is post ID, poster X, post text, post keywords and post date. We need to return this. So we can provide a list of these column names. However, make sure that you write poster X, not poster, because after we merged, the name of the column has been changed, right? We can change it back to the poster, like uh, we will be doing it. So we need to supply a list of column names. So post ID, then poster X, right? Then post text, right? Then post keywords and finally the fifth column that is post date right so post date okay let me run this let's see what we are getting so if you look at it we are you know only left with the four five columns that you are keeping right but first thing we need to do is since here it says poster so we need to rename it back to poster so what we can do is we can write dot rename and what we are trying to rename columns so we write columns and then provide key value pairs of the old name so poster underscore x needs to be changed to poster right if, if I run this again, so now if you look at it, the name of the column has changed. However, if you look at it, right, so here we only have one output, but here there are two rows, right? And basically this is duplication, right? So what we need to do is we need to drop duplicates. So what we can write it, we can write drop duplicates, right? Now, if I run this, let's see what we're getting. So now if you look at it, like our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. 
so yeah everything is green and this is how i do it now let's see how the corresponding code looks like in mysql so again if you look at it the question is same right uh, we are given two different tables facebook reactions facebook post expected output is same as well right uh, the tables are same as well like same kind of information same same number of columns everything is same so here again what we can do is we can join these two tables so from facebook post aliased as let's say fp let's left join the table facebook reactions aliased as let's say fr right on facebook post dot post id is equal to facebook reaction dot post id and once we you know uh, join this then we as we saw in python we are only going to keep those rows where your reaction is a heart right so we write fr dot reaction is equal to heart so fr dot reaction is equal to heart right let me run this up till now let's see what we are getting so again if you look at it we have all the information from both these two tables uh, and reaction is heart right now what we need to do is we only need to keep the columns from facebook post right so here we don't need to even write all those name col column names individually we can simply write fp dot asterisk so it will keep all the columns from facebook post if i run this now then what we are having again like you have the five columns but again there is duplication so what we can do is we can write distinct combination of these right so now let me run this so yeah if you look at it our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to fit past all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question very easy question all we had to do was you know merge the information from the two tables and keep only those rows where the reaction was a heart and then on drop the duplicates and keep only distinct combinations of all the five columns from the facebook post so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video